I can't afford to sell it. Global food prices are at the highest level in more than six years, driven by increases in crops from soybeans to corn. That's largely caused by strong demand from China, as well as poor weather and supply chain issues. It is a challenge for economists, central bankers, but it also has political implications. Three of the nations where we are seeing surging food prices are Nigeria, Brazil, and Russia. These are some of the most populous nations in the world, large middle-income economies where food actually makes up a larger share of consumer spending. This is where governments may be under more pressure to act in order to stem the impact of price increases. In January, food prices in Nigeria rose at the fastest pace in more than 12 years. An average Nigerian household now spends more than 50% of its budget on food. The price hikes follow a perfect storm of food security challenges, from supply bottlenecks to terrorist attacks on farmers. Land border closures led to shortages of staples like rice, and the plunge in oil prices dried up foreign currency reserves needed to import goods. Food-related grievances also played a role in sustaining the end SARS protests in the fall. What first started as demonstrations against police brutality turned into looting of warehouses storing things like noodles, rice and pasta. Memories of soaring prices and empty shelves in the aftermath of the Soviet Union's collapse are still vivid for many Russians. In recent weeks, the world's number one wheat exporter imposed tariffs and quotas to curb sales abroad and drive domestic prices lower. <laughs> Russia's largest retailers were also ordered to freeze some food prices, with potato and carrot prices up by more than a third from last year. The worry is that such limits could backfire and end up fueling overall inflation when restrictions are lifted at the end of March. <laughs> Among emerging markets, Brazil saw the fastest increase in food prices in the past year relative to overall inflation. Rice jumped 76% last year, while milk and beef soared by more than 20%. The cost of securing vital nutrition threatens to widen inequality in a country with the biggest income gap in Latin America. A situation that's only been exacerbated by the pandemic.